Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is the Sherps CMC1 which is a new microphone preamplifier body from the great German name of Sherps and it is tiny teeny weeny little microphone body and uh, even when attached to one of their uh, many capsule options it is a very discreet microphone indeed and of course it's lightweight will make it very attractive uh, like all its uh, many of its Sherps brethren to the location crowd people however today it's, it's more of the the studio uh, thing I'm thinking about um, because I've got it up against what could I think is probably the best bargain in high quality German uh, condenser mics. It's the KM184. It's been around uh, for many years now, but it's a worthy successor to the KM84. And uh, it really is a, a, an excellent microphone, which I know it's $600 or $700, whatever it is, but it is affordable uh, in comparison to some of the other offerings. Uh, now the Sherps is uh, probably double that, so um, it's a tough gig for the for the Neumann to keep up for it. The Sherps, has, uh, Sherps have gone for a uh, flat uh, frequency response. They do offer. Oh, I've got the MK4 capsule. I should say. I think there's another capsule with a with a lifted presence if you want that. Um, the the KM184 has got it is flat low down and it has a as I was kind of presency bump that uh, enables it to cut through. And uh, maybe is one of the reasons why a lot of people do do like and rate it. So. Um, interesting challenge, all German contenders today. Um, I'm still contending uh, with early Christian documents, creeds, councils and controversies. Basel still wrestling with the Trinity. The distinction of meaning between ousia and hypostasis. The distinction between ousia and hypostasis is the same as that between the particular and the general. As for instance, between the animal and the particular man. Wherefore, in the case of the Godhead, we confess one essence or substance, ousia, so as not to give a variant definition of existence. But we confess a particular hypostasis, in order that our conception of Father, Son and Holy Spirit may be without confusion and clear. If we have no distinct perception of the separate characteristics, namely fatherhood, sonship and sanctification, but form our conception of Godhead from the general idea of existence, we cannot possibly give a sound account of our faith. We must, therefore, confess the faith by adding the particular to the common. The Godhead is common, the fatherhood particular. We must therefore combine the two and say, I believe in God the Father. The like course must be pursued in the confession of the Son. We must combine the particular with the common and say, I believe in God the Son. So in the case of the Holy Spirit, we must make our utterance conform to the appellation and say, I believe also in the divine Holy Spirit. Hence it results that there is a satisfactory preservation of the unity by the confession of the one Godhead, while in the distinction of the individual properties regarded in each, there is the confession of the particular peculiar properties of the persons. On the other hand, those who identify essence or substance and hypostasis are compelled to confess only three persons, prosopa, and in their hesitation to speak of three hypostases are convicted of failure to avoid the error of Sibelius. For even Sibelius himself, who in many places confuses the conception, yet by asserting that the same hypostasis changed its form to meet the needs of the moment, does endeavour to distinguish persons. If you fully understand that, answers on a postcard, please. Uh, that's Basil on uh, on the Trinity. Um, I, I hope you've uh, enjoyed having a, a listen to these two great microphones. Um, uh, ch chip in on the comments if you have a preference, and, and if so, why? And uh, thanks for dropping by PPM6TV. Do subscribe, it does help. Hey, come back soon.